Welcome to the One Million Mile Road Trip. I'm Tommy. And I'm the Dean. We're going to review this uh, Black Hawk campground next to Milton, uh, Wisconsin, and Jamesville, Wisconsin. Uh, this is a Thousand Trails uh, campground, and uh, it is fairly close to where we're having our awning hopefully repaired. So uh, we decided to give it a shot. Uh, we're going to discuss the pros and then I'm going to discuss some of the cons. Uh, some of the pros is it is Thousand Trails and uh, it does, uh, it is free for us once we had, of course, joined and pay our yearly fee. Um, and it does have a nice pool. However, the pool was not open when we first got here, they were cleaning it. Uh, it's gonna really need to be cleaned. Yeah, it's tomorrow. packed right now, <laughs> and uh, it does have a lake out there. Uh, but we'll we'll discuss some of the cons involving the lake. Nice big beach that uh, goes down to the lake. That they rake every day. Uh, they rake the beach every day, and they do have some activities like um, bingo, bingo and. Uh, they have a coffee, uh, some food trucks and stuff that come down here on the weekends. Seems to be very popular. Yes. Uh, I mean, there'll be like a hundred golf carts out there. They do have golf carts for rent also. Uh, somebody told us it's $50, $50 a, a day. Uh, it does have, but most of them are permanent, permanent sites. Yeah. They only have about 30 or 40 it's regular 40. RV yeah. sites that you can rent or uh, some of them a thousand trails. Get over here a little bit because you're, you're um, off of the thing. Well, right there is 53. Yeah, but we're not sure if those numbers are correct. They may start at 10, you know, because they don't want to have one, two, three, four, like that. They call it Indian Village once you get down in here. It says, Welcome to Indian Village. I don't know what that is. That's too. I don't know what that's reference well, to. Blackhawk is an Indian name. Maybe. It could be. Um, and also, but we're going to talk about the cons now. Well, one thing, one one pro is they do have 30 amp, 50 amp, and 110 on every site. And, and they hooks. have sewer, and they have water. They also have that. Um, and we have a fairly good sized lot. They all have we fire do. rings also with them, and most of them have these little grills on top of the fire ring where you can grill out and stuff. Yeah, it's a nice uh, I mean, it is pretty nice. Now, some of the cons. Cons is they do not have concrete pads. They're all like uh, dirt uh, rock pads and um, they have uh, the majority of the park, probably 500 lots are full-time. Um, uh, they're permanent. permanent. They're permanent. Parked now, here permanently. Yeah, they're parked here permanently. Now, these people don't probably come out but on weekends. Yeah. But And the weekends are very crowded up here. Uh, the pool right now probably has 300 people in it. I'm not kidding you. It is packed. You shoulder to shoulder. And the kids, what it these is. little kids that keep following us yeah. around because of Maggie and Gracie, they said, it's got a jacuzzi. Yeah, and it's and not it's, jacuzzi. They it's said, it's real pool. hot. It's a hot kitty pool. It's a kitty pool. And uh, one of the, the cons, too, is that when it rains, uh, like it did last night, uh, the roads get muddy and they're full of water. Like now we've got big uh, pools of water here and it's going to rain again this afternoon. It's supposed to have maybe severe storms. Yeah, we had hail last night. Yeah. That bothered me because I was afraid, yeah, afraid where hail is there might be a tornado. Yeah, I just didn't want my solar panels to get banged up. Uh, and another thing is too, these as you see, the, the picnic tables are not in best shape. This one here has got holes in it. Uh, they're, they're not, well, it looks like the wood's gonna fall through and uh, you could probably get some splinter in the, uh, some bad places. Um, they also have uh, golf carts by the hundreds out of here. A lot of kids and driving Maggie. golf carts around everywhere. Maggie mm -hmm. even tried to jump into one of the she golf carts. She did jump into one. Maggie thinks of, of Ralph and um, Darby when and Darby. she sees these things. She, she thinks, thinks Darby's up there and she wants to go with them. And then last night uh, we had a dog that got off his leash and attacked, tried Maggie. to attack Maggie. 
and uh, the owner got it back on and the park ranger came up. The park ranger is real nice there. He's retired law enforcement also. Uh, the only other thing that about the campground that was a negative is they don't have a whole lot of uh, shower facilities. They have one that oh, I've no. seen no, that's near the not, pool. That's not the big thing. And, the uh, big thing is no dog and park. Dog, no dog it shows park a dog at all. park, but they don't have a dog park. And the lake that everybody is boating in is full of algae. So we can't so take Maggie I'm down not, there to I'm swim. worried about her Maggie being in there because the algae, you know, can kill dogs and stuff. And that was a big, big negative for us. And then we had another negative that does not have anything to do with the park, but we took the dogs into an RV uh, to a dog park in uh, Milton today and uh, poor little Gracie got attacked by a pet bull and almost got killed. They, they was... Uh, well, no, because she doesn't... She says he pulled a, one of her tags off which yeah, made her bleed. She was bleeding. She didn't get killed. Almost well, killed. Well, it would have if they hadn't... Yes. If they hadn't have pulled him off of her, he yes. had her by the neck. Yes, he could. So have he hurt could her. have very easily yes. killed our dog. Yes, he could. And have. Uh, of course, they took their dogs out and they apologized and everything. But that he said he'd never been around little dogs. But still, uh, you know, Maggie, you know, of course, backed up against, back, back, backed him up a little bit. But, uh, but Gracie could have been killed. Who is that? And Moses has been oh, out nice. several times and uh, stays know, right up underneath the RV in most cases, uh, never goes anywhere. Out. And uh, there he is. Hey, Mose. And I talked to the park ranger and told him that he's an inside-outside cat and they were okay with it. So, hey, yeah, that's a good thing at least. Uh, I imagine in a few minutes Moses is going to come in because it is fixing to rain. We got some bad weather moving in tonight. Supposed to be borderline severe weather. I'll hold on to Tommy. And, uh, but to me. Moses is a good boy. It's okay. It's okay. And, uh, but every time he sees something that he doesn't like, he scares underneath the RV and climbs up in the engine. Because he can. Because he, he don't can. Have to I would say if I was going to grade this campground from 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 6. And the reason why is because no concrete pads. They're not exactly level. A lot of the uh, campers had to put blocks underneath and the optimist would give it an and if i did not have we had uh, our uh, starlink that we gave us we would not have internet there's no internet out here and no phone hardly any phone service but we have starlink and it gave us a pretty good internet and we we were uh, we great internet and we had uh we were able to watch any type of tv stream and movies or anything but um uh, if we hadn't had that, we actually gave the guy behind us his, they had a small family and I gave him my password to Starlink so he could get online last night because it was just crazy out here uh, with the, no service at all. Moses sitting out here with us. Moses just thinks, hey, there's dogs out here but I ain't scared because I got my bodyguards right there bodyguards are over here watching Moses making sure Moses does not get attacked she got a camera up there this is built around the uh, his RV welcome me hearties yo ho wow Look at the skull upside down. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely amazing. I like to... That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. He's very, very talented. <laughs> 